Hello, welcome to the HDISNET um, web conference. I think we are ready to start, Marco, is that correct? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> okay, very good. Marco is uh, doing the administration of the meeting. Um, first, maybe some uh, technical uh, notes. So all participants have been uh, muted. Um, if you want to say something, you have either to raise the hand, which is a button um, in the Zoom um, app, or you um, just unmute and uh, let us know what you want to say. Um, yeah, the uh, intention of the um, webinar today is that we make you familiar with the thermochemical uh, technology and that we um, inform you about the outcomes of uh, the EU H2020 project HDISNET, uh, which has been run from June 2016 until end 2019. And um, yeah, let me give you a short uh, overview of the project. Uh, the project uh, is um, has eight partners. Um, so it's coordinated by uh, KU Leuven, which is a leading partner and uh, takes care of modeling and simulation. And uh, I'm representing KU Leuven here in the meeting. Um, then we have uh, Watergy as an innovative uh, small medium enterprise from uh, Berlin in Germany. Um, they are um, taking care of the, or they are specialists in the some chemical technology and Martin is uh, representing uh, Watergy in the meeting. Uh, Watergy is a spin-off of Technical University of Berlin. Um, so, uh, TU Berlin is involved also with labs for absorption technology in the project. Next partner is the ZHAW in Switzerland. Um, the energy engineering uh, department is involved and Serena Danesi uh, is representing that um, institution in the meeting. Um, the Sir Swan Center from the University of Newcastle is involved in the project. Um, this is a center about um, energy, yeah, merging energy technology and research in general at the University of Newcastle. And uh, Andrew Smallborn is representing uh, that institution in the meeting. Um, then we have a partner, Arubis, from Industry, uh, largest copper manufacturer in Europe, and Mukund uh, Bakwand is uh, representing that partner. Uh, Thermaflex is a producer of um, technology for district uh, networks. Um, Marcos uh, Thunberg is not able to represent, but I will take over his presentation in the meeting. And we have Alex Accelerant on board. Um, is a yeah, let's say innovation enabling company bringing research to market. And uh, Marco is representing, and also Damian is uh, from Accelerant. Um, as the time is quite limited, I would uh, not go through all the partners. I saw a lot of names uh, we had already contacted. It's nice to see you again, but we don't have time for um, um, to introduce everybody. Um, I would go quickly through the agenda and then we would start with the uh, meeting. Um, I have control. Yeah, it's working. Very good. Um, uh, first uh, item, so we have blocks. The first block is about uh, introduction. I will give you a quick introduction to technology, technology and simulation capabilities we have developed in the project. Then we will uh, see um, how humidity applications work with the technology that will include um, our greenhouse applications and automotive. Uh, applications. Uh, next block is about heating and cooling uh, in buildings uh, with a burden demonstrator and um, with a case study uh, of Hasselt. Um, the next is um, intelligent and uh, smart uh, applications in, in networks, so joining networks uh, and uh, using that uh, in the model interconnector um, case study. 
And the last block is about market and stakeholder perspectives. Um, how the idea of seeing how the technology could be brought to the market, what the path to the market is. In each block, we have 10 minutes or uh, short presentations, and then we have 10 minutes uh, of discussion. And there, you are welcome uh, to give us feedback, input, ask questions, whatever um, uh, is intention. Uh, yeah, we would like to get uh, interaction uh, and to know your opinion about uh, technology. Um, yeah, then let's start uh, with the introduction uh, of the technology. So, um, yeah, the question is, um, what is the potential of the thermochemical technology and how is it able to address the current uh, challenges in yeah, energy networks, energy technology, um, and uh, what, what does the potential or the benefit that we can get from the technology? So the first thing is that um, excess seed uh, in, industry especially is available at very low temperatures so that uh, the current district heating technology is not able to exploit uh, that so 50 percent are probably below the exploitable uh, temperature of um, current uh, technology furthermore uh, often um, excess heat is available at um, yeah, long distance from um, the demand in cities so uh, 50 kilometers and more and um, that needs to be addressed then uh, it's not um, it's a storage issue um, i mean technology or the the uh, access it is not available at the same time uh, as the demand is so we need storage um, capabilities in the network um, return flow temperatures uh, are an issue in existing uh, district networks. So uh, high return flow temperatures are not desired and uh, thermochemical technology can help to lower return flow temperatures. Uh, and the last uh, challenge is that uh, there is uh, the demand density is going down first uh, because you want to connect uh, outskirt um, uh, buildings and second because buildings uh, are retrofitted and um, the uh, heat demand of uh, buildings is going down if you have uh, zero energy build near zero energy buildings uh, then uh, it becomes uh, difficult for uh, networks to operate economically um, with that background, we developed uh, the idea of a thermochemical network that is able uh, to utilize low temperature excess seed and uh, to provide services on that base to transport uh, the energy potential of the excess seed uh, to the user. And let me give a quick overview how that technology works. So um, the basis is a uh, desorption and uh, absorption uh, process uh, at um, the uh, supply side on the left and the demand side on the right. Uh, the um, excess seed uh, is used to evaporate water from uh, thermochemical fluid, which is basically um, a salt solution. And uh, that concentrated uh, salt solution is transported uh, through the network uh, to the demand side. And at the demand side, um, in an absorption process, um, the heat that was required to um, concentrate the solution is uh, then again uh, released uh, to uh, provide a service to the environment or to the building or whatever is connected uh, in that situation. And that is uh, 680 kilowatt hours heat per um, ton of water that is absorbed in that situation. And that is uh, basically the service that can be provided. Uh, the idea of the project is that we develop um, a network with that um, thermochemical fluid instead of water in the pipes. That is a multi-service network um, that has uh, space heating by utilizing the heat, um, cooling by utilizing uh, the 
drying or the um, absorption effect and using uh, dry air. We will see that in detail later. Uh, we, can, we can provide um, humidity control as an add-on uh, for that technology. Uh, and uh, that works quite well with uh, low energy buildings. Uh, furthermore, um, air quality and comfort can be improved uh, by that uh, kind of service. Um, and then um, if we have absorption, we can also use um, that absorption process, removing water from uh, air for drying processes in the industry and uh, enable industrial drying. Um, furthermore, as mentioned, uh, we have um, the possibility to uh, utilize very low temperatures, very low temperature excess heat for uh, regeneration of uh, the fluid and um, providing these dimension services in the network. Um, for also for regeneration, we can connect to the return flow of um, existing networks, utilize the heat there, reduce the return temperature, and uh, provide regeneration, regenerate uh, the fluid to, to again provide services in the thermochemical network. And um, uh, all in all, uh, that uh, provides, uh, um, or the basis is the loss-free transport and uh, storage is possible by means of the thermochemical uh, substance. So if we don't get in contact with um, uh, humidity, then no um, losses happen. Um, let me quickly, maybe you've seen the subtitle of the project or the, the whole title of the project, that's Intelligent Hybrid uh, Thermochemical uh, District Networks and exactly the connection um, to existing uh, networks and uh, combining the thermochemical transport with the uh, thermal transport, that is where the hybrid in the title refers to. Um, so that is the idea of the project. Um, the overall approach of the project uh, is that we um, use or developed um, laboratory devices. Um, new absorber technology was quite important in the project that we uh, generate uh, performance data from the project, um, model these performance data and provide the components or provide uh, the behavior, the performance behavior of the components in simulation models. So for uh, simulation, the uh, Modelica Ideas library was uh, selected as a basis and was extended uh, by an absorber model so that we can include the uh, the um, performance of the absorber in uh, the um, simulation model so that it's possible to uh, develop uh, systems, model systems and simulate systems. And on that uh, basis, uh, we evaluated uh, yeah, case studies. We also evaluated uh, demonstrators um, and can uh, we can design and uh, assess uh, the potential of the technology. So, um, yeah, this slide uh, shows a bit that the that we are able to um, uh, model uh, the absorption process. So that is a slide from a validation run um, where in uh, with the Switzerland demonstrator, and you see that um, the uh, for the whole range of the operation of the demonstrator from 20 to 33 degrees centigrade, um, we can predict uh, the temperature and also humidity from 6 to 18 uh, kilogram uh, gram water per kilogram. Uh, we can predict uh, the behavior. So that's uh, x-axis is some, uh, measured data in the demonstrator and y-axis is um, the um, predicted uh, performance of the absorber. We use that data in uh, detailed simulation models uh, to um, predict performance. That's the uh, Modelica-based um, simulation model of the Berlin demonstrator. And in the end, we use that to um, evaluate case studies as we will see later. Um, <clears throat> yeah, to conclude um, that block, um, this is an overview 
of um, the network as we have drawn it uh, during the proposal stage. Um, and uh, we will go uh, through that uh, in the today's presentation uh, exactly with the blocks. So we have first uh, the humidity control block, um, which is about um, heating, um, uh, no, sorry, about um, uh, greenhouses, humidity control in greenhouses and also in industry. Um, so application of thermodynamic technology in that context. Then uh, we have uh, heating and cooling in buildings as the second block um, after that presentation, after that block here. Um, it's uh, how to apply uh, heating and cooling in, in um, the Berlin demonstrator is an important part and uh, transferring that to building stock in Hassel. Um, then we will see uh, the connection with the smart grid um, with the demonstrator in Newcastle and um, the MOIL interconnector. And uh, we will see in the last block um, how that technology connects uh, to the market, what could be passes to the market and links to the market.